Extruding is one of the fastest ways to add geometry to your models. Uh, one of the fastest ways to do it is to just grab a face and hold down shift and you can already see it says extrude when I hold over this axis here and I pull in that direction and as I force this face out from this cube you can see it creates these new faces. So we can do multiple faces together if I hold down shift and drag these guys out they'll all um, pull out together at the same time. I like to just make sure everything snapped to the grid by holding X. Um, let's continue to just pull out some shapes here. I can go up this way. Same thing, just hold down X to make sure it's all on the grid. If we want to go around a bend, let's say something like this, a better method for extruding would be to just go to the context menu. If I hold down shift and right click, I can go to extrude face. Uh, Control E will also do this for you or clicking over here on extrude. They all get you to the same place. And that is these two things that pop up here, this context menu and this little widget here. So let's go over the context menu first. Uh, using thickness, if we pull out on thickness here and just left click drag thickness, you can see that starts to grow over there. And this is going based off units. So what thickness is doing is it's keeping the angles exactly the same. It's pulling directly out these faces and keeping them facing the same direction. If I hit G to repeat the extrude command and we do local translate, at first it looks like it's doing the same thing, but as we pull out, you notice this weird averaging starts happening. So I don't really like to use uh, this method for pulling out faces that are going around a corner for that exact reason. Um, offset. Offset, if we drag out here, oops, let's repeat the command here. If I drag offset out, then you can see it pulls my faces in along the face. So we can create these little inset type things. So if I hit G again and pull in on thickness, you can see it's going to pull in a little window type thing here. Um, I can hit G again, do a little offset, and then I can grab these and extrude face and give myself a little frame. Um, let's let's look at the widget here real quick and see how this works. If I pull out on blue here, you can see this is averaging the doing the local translation here and we're getting that same weird averaging here which I don't want to have. So I'm going to go ahead and just use thickness to drag that out instead as well and that'll give me a nice little frame on this guy. Um, as I pull out I can Put in divisions by left click and dragging on this guy if I want to put I don't know some little extra detail in here um, if I grab multiple faces again back here let's just hit control E this time um, if I have this bottom option here turned off this keep faces together if I turn that off and pull out now I can pull out on this arrow and it's going to pull out just fine because it's no longer going to try to average around this corner. And you can see the reason being is that all these faces are separate now. So I could pull this guy out, pull this guy out in all different directions. Right? So these are some of the most common ways that I extrude. Um, these, all these same methods apply to edges as well. So if you have yourself a plane, you grab an edge and you can just start shift dragging these edges out and quickly get whatever shape you want. So that is extrude. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap. So first we covered some of the most common extrusion techniques. Next, we explored the context menu for extrusions and finally, we looked at how we could apply a lot of these principles over to edges as well. All right, everybody, good luck and have fun.